so today we just finished working um filled some orders for new Arbud and nba the wait which snuck up on me overnight and i'm um, heading up to fifth avenue because today we're going to be looking for bougie stocking stuffers something that won't break the bank but still you know show that you're paying attention to your loved ones fashionable likings i think we're going to Saks Fifth avenue first ready bigger now that you say that so this is 49 I love this box biodegradable obviously and this is ooh, some skincare trio I like that This one's 310. That one. But these are really cute as well. It's a little turquoise and Gucci.
options with bags that you don't see everyone wearing. Yeah, and these are cute. Oh my god, I love y'all have these. Those just came out in that size. Like a full size. Oh wow. I'm doing a video for like stocking stuffers for YouTube. So I'm like, all the little things that could fit. <laughs> this is so cute though. And it comes with a strap put on the back. Yes, you can wear as a mini bag. Let me take a video of this. So cute. On the men's floor, not going to the women's shoe department because that boot is the purpose that can't fit in a stocking stuffer and plus the pricing is crazy. But, yeah, let's check out Gucci real quick. Okay. Oh, they got some. This is always a good idea. These little t-shirts are so adorable. And easy to fold down and they have the ones with polka dots. Yeah, these are cute. You can never go wrong with something like this. And how much it is. 151. So they have them short sleeve, long sleeve. Watermelon. How long are the holiday shops up for even after? 140 for a little long mm. shot bag. This is cute little makeup bag moment. Little throw everything in a knickknack bag. Coffee table book lover. I'm here for it. This is really, I like these colors. I do you like what's inside? Oh, it's giving vibes. I'm here for it. I love these images.
Where the brown people at though? Where, where are the brown people? Maybe it's at, hmm. Maybe they have them in some Tulum for sure. Amalfi Coast. Let's see what's inside there. I mean, it's nice with the scenery of these places. First of all, not with this notebook having holes in it. Mm -mm. I mean, if they like it, I love it. but these are 575 they have something a little bit less expensive at 106 little bum moment they have it in the metallic and they have these little teeny tiny babies for 175 you could put one flower or two in there they're so cute. How much is this one? I love this. 175. I really do love these. Oh my gosh. For a I love this. 330. Per. Per, lady, honey. Per. Got some more things over here, little catch-alls, little ashtrays. These are cute. 185. A little, a little tiny catch-all for 90. This is super cute. Little bookends. I don't like these though. Those are kind of basic. What's this? What's in there? She's 565. Maybe she's um chest or something. I don't know what's in her. This is so pretty. This is a cute catch-all too, but it's too Christmassy for me. It's something all year round. This little cup. I'm a sucker for a mug. I have too many of them. Honestly, it feels a little lightweight and cheap. I'm not gonna lie to you. I prefer the plates over this cup. Oh my gosh. This little man is going through a struggle. Oh my goodness. But I love him. <laughs> this little man is struggling because he costs $5.95. Now I get it. This is an ashtray. $4.95. The best one out of all of them. No, child, I don't need that. These little resin catch alls are $75 and so pretty. How much is this one? 
128. I know somebody that can make these as well and better probably, but these color combinations are to die for. Oh my God, I love that. Little off-white belts, ankle straps, 175, you know the deal. This is so beautiful and heavy and sturdy too. Oh, they feel so good. These are 400, but I'm glad I saw them in person because they're impeccable in person. Oh my God, we do not do these things, these things justice at all. Look at this. She's 350. Also really heavy. Like they got some weight on these bad boys. Also want to see these monogram moments in person too. These are so pretty to me. Very old school. because I'm like I love your style by thank, the way. thank you I'm doing head video to toe, to toe. <laughs> I'm doing video on like cute little stocking stuffers or like smaller gifts and I'm like this is gorgeous it is amazing oh she's pretty hold it as a clutch oh yes they took it down on our website let me find it but this Oh wow. As a serious clutch. Yeah, that's cute. Or too. it still has the strap. It has as a well. strap inside. Yeah. I love this. And this is definitely for a shoulder moment. Or I think you can close it in still and wear it around the weight, the wrist. These are a little bigger. I don't like this. This looks like it can get dirty quickly.
of cute knickknacks and cute things to get at Saks. That could fit in the stocking stuffer. A lot of things under three, four hundred dollars. Some stuff that was over, I'm like, no. Like there was a Dior set that was four hundred dollars, and I was like, but the candle is ninety five dollars, and it comes with three ornaments that have like scents attached to them. I don't know. I just didn't see the worth of that one, but it was cute. It was a cute idea for Christmas. But I would have just got the candles by themselves to do $95. And they smell amazing. Except for one. Not for me. But the next stop is Bergdorf Goodman. See if Jerry is in uh, the spot. Let's see what they have going on as far as like cute little bits are concerned. telling me about earth here so earth is inspired by the element of nature earth itself yes. uh -huh. the violet color is not only opulent but dark and mysterious now what mm. i love about earth is we achieve fresh without any citrus notes okay so here we have a top note of truffles with a beautiful heart of elimi and gray amber it has it's, one of the most unique really scent profiles that I've smelled before, and it is an eau de parfum, as well as anything else here that I gave you. You said this one is the oregano? That is correct. The oregano mm -hmm. has a bit of mint into it, and this is the marijuana, and it has CBD, and you said aloe vera? Aloe vera. So that it feels too already. I love these. How much do these um, cost? 53 each. $53. Mm -hmm. That's a nice little stocking stuffer. Is this what I think it is? These little posters <laughs> are so cute. It's a joke, guys. Ha ha ha. Nothing crazy. How much do these go for, Jerry? 98. 98. Oh, that's cute. That's a perfect gift. That's a, I love that. And you guys, what? What's this? Pill case. Why well, I thought it was a vibrator? <laughs> we, we used to have vibrators. We sold out of them. Oh, it's a pill case. This is cute too. We used to have vibrators. Um, That's hilarious. These little. You said another. Then she comes in. Los, I'm done. Listen. You, you always going to get them characters, okay? <laughs> them characters that be trying it. Oh, little sex oil with CBD for your moment. This for your stuff. Oh, this brand. I have this stuff, but I haven't tried it yet. The women go crazy over it. Really? Okay, I'm going to have to try it. Though. Yeah. Because I, I got it as a gift. The women and, go crazy. Yeah, oh, I like it. Look at this little the way they bubble. 
life. It's so cute. Oh, this is cute too. A little Mew Mew. $23.50. This is adorable. really like this time for a bag. This is cute. A bit more scaparelli. I love that. What's this? A magnifying glass? For the, for the folks who need a little assistance seeing things up close. She's cute. Has it been busy? Moments of it. Yeah, sporadic. Oh, the little money bags. Those are so cute. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that roll is everything. <laughs> it's, it's gone. It's my life. Really? How much do they go for? Uh, 25. 25? Just $25? Can I have the last one? You can have the last one. Let me get the last <laughs> one. It's so cute. That's hilarious. Oh, well, she was cute too. It's Elton John. You know what? David Bowie. Oh my God, I love that. Liza. Liza Minnell, I'm done. And then you have Kiss. Yes. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh my God. These are cute gifts. I'm trying to get the prices on this video. Oh, they all say different things. So it's tipsy. The lady is $65. Okay. Buzzed. These are funny. Lit. <laughs> I love that. Oh, wow. For the holiday masquerade. Those are cute. So here's the thing about Bergdorf. Every time I go in there, I make a new friend or I find an old friend and it's a lot of hugging and then a lot of purchasing. There's gonna be a little bit of a haul at the end of this. Um, but anyway, love me some Bergdorf good then. There's a lot of cute little knickknacks and things to give people with and really affordable prices. 
really thoughtful, beautiful pieces. So I'm here for it. Ooh, look at these candy canes. Holidays in the city is magical. If I didn't have so many bags, I would stop at Quality Italian to eat, but I actually have to go to Nordstrom because my mom gave me a hint to what she wants for Christmas, which is hard to like get it out of her. So, you know parents, they never want you to spend, don't spend any money, don't do that, don't do this, but. All right, Mr. Buffalo. Um, but we're gonna head over there and see if we can find what she mentioned. And hopefully I get my luck in order because if I find it tonight, then that means my Christmas shopping for the pants is done because I got them a few other things. And I think it's a good little bundle. All right, let's see what Nordstrom has. I really like her outfit. It's giving rich winter vibes. All the things. Yep, little Sherwin bag. I'm here for it. This is a really good outfit. Department. I guess I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I really like this situation right here. This is cute. I just want to make that. Honestly, I'm so tired. Um, Nordstrom is not really giving me what I thought it was going to give when it came to the little shopping knickknack thingies, but it is what it is. Oh, Santa. But anyway, um, this will be my last stop, and then I'm gonna head home. You girl is tired. But I saw a lot of cool looking things, you know? It's not too crowded in the stores. It's just crowded on Fifth Avenue. Um, but I'm, I'm, I think I have a couple of really good gifts for my lovies, and yeah, this was fun, this was fun. And they have like a whole other gift department. Apparently Bergdorf has a whole gift floor. 
on the seventh floor that I was like, I don't know if I have the patience and the energy for it. I think I need to come back on another day. One of my old co-workers from my Barney's days told me it was there. And I'm like, okay, boo, I'm going to have to come back and see you and that floor. Um, so, yeah, this there might be a little bit of a part two. Maybe, maybe. Let's see. But we shall see. Oh, you got them for me. All right, let me try those on. Here you go. She's giving goth during the holiday. Listen, I just had a little fun with my makeup, but y'all know I bought a few things, so I'm going to show you, but I have to be really careful about what I say because these are gifts for certain people. So anyway, obviously one of my first stops at Saks was in the perfume area first of all let me just say this Saks has so many options between their holiday gifting area um their entire cosmetic floor has so many different boutiques that you could choose from to just pop in and see what a loved one would need um they even have the face gym back there where they have all those like when I showed you guys the PMD, the pore cleanser um, mechanism, they have that in that corner as well. And then face gym products. And then I found, so I learned about Bellhem um, perfumery when I was at the Webster in Houston um, for a bachelorette party. And I smelled mango skin and they were sold out in it. And I was like, oh my God, I have to order it. So I ended up ordering it from Neiman's, I believe. And I love that. It's like my summer fragrance. So I found two. I'm gifting two. I'm not going to say the name of this one because it's it'll be like a dead giveaway of who this is going to. But it smelled delicious and just a little bit of masculine, but super fresh, a little bit of citrus. Um, but their scents just carry so well. And I really fell in love with the Poets of Berlin um, fragrance as well. So these gifts are going to hit. I feel like Poets of Berlin has a little bit of floral, maybe like a bit of rose or something in there. I kind of remember smelling. And that's why I was like, okay, I know exactly who's going to wear it, something like this. Um, I feel like picking perfumes is easy for me personally because I just know when I hug a person in my life, what they smell like already or certain things that they connect to or certain fruits or certain things that they say that they love being around or the environment, whether it's like a cigar room or, you know, they wear a lot of leather or they said that they like muskier uh, scents and things of that nature. So I pay attention to what my friends and my family say about their experiences and I note it. And the weird thing is I actually do, like, especially for Carlos, um, because he's such a simple guy, right? Throughout the year, I have a note open in my phone that says gifts for Carlos. <clears throat> and when he mentions different things like um, concerts or different things that he needs to get for his daily life, like I note it in that note. And I look back at it around this time because it's his birthday and Christmas within the same month. So I like to have a variety of things and ideas to gift him. So maybe keep something like that for different people in your life where you, it, when it comes down to their birthday or their Christmas time, whatever holiday you, um, you celebrate that involves gifting, you have an open note where it's like, oh, they did mention that they want to see this boxing fight coming up, or they did mention that they wanted to try out this spa. So stuff like that, it's it's helpful, you know? Um, the other thing that I got when I was in Saks as well, first of all, everyone that I encounter as far as like sales salespeople are concerned, gifted me so many things and they were such nice people. I had to go to Aesop. So I got the um, Reverence Aromatic hair, Hand Balm. So, Typically, I, w I use the green one, and I found out yesterday it's actually a body bomb, not a hand bomb. But that's okay. I use it for my hands. But their hand bombs and body bombs are so delicious on the skin. I just feel like this is a 
cute stocking stuffer. Um, they're clean products. Most of their stuff is like how they package is biodegradable. And I just feel like it's a very sustainable company. I felt like another idea, something cute aesthetic wise, but practical as well. Um, the rinse-free hand sanitizer. So this is a spray and they also have a gel format um, that pours out. And I was like, oh, this is super easy, like super stocking, super easy stocking stuffer. And then she gifted me a geranium leaf body cleanser, which goes with the green body balm that I already have. So somebody will be gifted, getting those gifted, just something cute, you know? And then they gave me a whole bunch of samples from the um, Bellin Perfumery area. She gave me Dear Polly, Poets of Berlin, yes, because I'm not keeping that one, obviously, in Morning Chest. Smell these real quick. I like to spray it in the box. Oh, that's oh, <clears throat> all right. That's a little. That's a ah, That's like ooh, somebody's dad put on too much. That's that's what that was giving me. And dear Polly, Jesus. Whenever you smell too many fragrances at once, you don't need coffee beans. Just smell your own skin, or smell your sleeve, or something like that to reset your senses. So this is Dear Polly. Oh, she's sweet. She's light. Oh, she's nice. This reminds me of like my middle school secretary, like a little bit of floral, ladylike, not too heavy. This is really nice, actually. Dear Polly is nice for those women or men who like a bit of floral in their um <clears throat> in their fragrance arrangement. And then What's this? Uh, Poets of Berlin. Oh my God. Let me just smell this one more time. It's definitely something. It's a, it's a heavier floral. But in the best, <clears throat> in the best way. I don't know what's going on in my throat today, but it's annoying. So then I went to Bergdorf and, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I went to Bergdorf and... First of all, this lady <clears throat> in the Linda room sold me on this chocolate bar. And what she described, she said it was a mix of dark chocolate and almond and caramel and toffee or something like that. And I was like, oh, that sounds delectable. Don't get it. First of all, it's ashy. It's ashy. As soon as I opened it, I was like, this is an ashy chocolate, which is normal. That happens, right? But... Where's the toffee she was talking about? All I have is dark chocolate and almond and it's dusty. Do not recommend, highly do not recommend. Just saying, I love chocolate. I love European chocolates and that did not do me any justice. I don't know where they got that ashy ass chocolate from and I have two. So I'm gonna just have to suffer through it or get somebody who likes ashy chocolate. If you like Palmer's chocolate, hit me up because then you'll, you'll probably like that. But anyway. In the Linda room, they had a bunch of beautiful ornaments. Um, and though my theme for the tree is gonna be super floral this year, I could not resist getting this um, Di Carlini ornament. I think I've never seen anything like this before. She is gorgeous. I mean, even Carlos was like stunned when he saw it. He was like, wow, that's really pretty. So I have to get a little hook for her. And obviously I think you guys heard me say it, but I got the last money roll for good luck on our tree. If I go back and I see another money roll and she talking about that was the last one, I'm I'm bite her. I'm gonna bite her fingers. It's like, I'm just joking. <laughs> You don't have to sell me on saying, oh, this is the last one. Like, I like it anyway. Hopefully, she was telling the truth. I got the Where's Carl or Find Carl book. I thought this was really cute for, like, someone who loves fashion. Got the CCs in there. Closest to Chanel gift as possible. And there's so many different, like, situations where you can look for him. And it, they're hard. Like, I look for... Oh, I just found one. Hmm. Nifty. Um, but I just thought this was really cute. And it was $15.99. Like, of course. Um, and then, what am, I, what am I gonna do with this? What am I gonna do with this bar chocolate? 
And then I was really like stuck on the fragrances yesterday because I just feel like it is an intimate purchase. I feel like I'm really spot on when it comes to like gifting my father, my mom, Carlos, a lot of my friends, um, different fragrances because I'm like, I just, I understand what your nose loves. So when I went to the cosmetic floor, I, initially I was looking for the manager, a good friend of mine, um, to see if she was working and then to also book a facial with the Dior people because she told me that she wants me to come back and do an experience with them. Um, but I have to come back in two weeks. So anyway, in waiting around to see if anyone knew if she was in, I went to the Loewe fragrance room, which is like, I think the first of its kind, or I don't know, it maybe the first of its kind in, in Bergdorf, or I don't know, I think they're looking to open like 25 more doors in the US in the next couple of years. But it was an experience because the guy, Manuel, this Dominican guy, whatever training Loewe puts their people through, especially within the fragrance realm, is impeccable. Like, he knew every single scent, the meaning behind it, how it was cultivated. Um, and I was just really impressed with his knowledge. And we landed on... There was one fragrance I was pretty sold on that was based on all um, elements, elements and um, natural elements. And then there was Un Paseo por Madrid, which is basically a, a collection that I really don't even see that much on social media or any type of digital marketing. They don't really push these particular fragrances. But when I tell you, this is like creme de la creme. This particular collection, Un Paseo de Madrid. It's based on like different places in Madrid that is connected to the story of Loewe, the background of Loewe. And I picked out Templo de, de Bode, de Bod, I think I'm saying it correctly. And it was in a red bottle. And y'all, I was like, what's that one? He was like, it's interesting that you're connected to that one. This one's very special. Obviously, all of them are very special. But this one, this one... It's really hard to gift this one because I want to keep it so bad, but I know exactly who this is going to. And all of the pictures that are on the packaging of Loewe, this is like an artist who took pictures of very rare plants and florals and they, um, Loewe purchased these prints and now they're a part of the complete artwork. I mean, I had a blast in there. Manny gave me all the samples. I'm talking like really like what kind of, I've never seen a sample box like this, okay? Um, gave me the masculine and feminine scents that they have. And honestly, he told me that you can layer them because they are supposed to be layered. And another tip that he told me with layering fragrances, he said opposites do attract. So do something highly feminine with something leather something tobacco like he just he schooled the heck out of me okay and yeah see these prints beautiful beautiful photographic prints and they're on all of them so I really enjoyed myself Nordstrom wasn't giving me like all the vibes like Saks and Bergdorf says Bergdorf is always going to be a super special place during the holidays their windows alone are just amazing and they have always been just spot on I really miss that about Barney's because Barney's was like the lead in their windows, especially for holiday season. But Nordstrom, maybe I was tired. Maybe I have to go back. Um, but they had a lot of cool, like small business brands in the space territory. Soaps was in there. Um, I saw a lot of cool ones. There's some links that I put down below that are not connected to the store that I was actually in. For some reason, they didn't have a link to those items. Some of the items I was showing, like there's going to be Fendi, those cocaine coasters, which those are really like, those are extreme and some people will get it. Some people won't. I thought they were an interesting idea, but I can see how some people may be offended by them, but it is a gifting option for someone out there. So I'm like, I get it. It's artistic. Cool. Um, but even that was not on the Bergdorf website, which was really interesting. So some things are exclusive to the in-store experience and some things are um, going to be connected to a different store that you'll notice throughout all the links that I provided. I think I provided as much as I, I think everything that I saw for the most part is going to be linked below. But this is how I normally, I typically shop 
for the holiday season for gifts. There's another shopping experience. I might take y'all in. There's a thing that I do every year. I go to Macy's on 34th Street because Macy's is open really late during the holidays. And that's the only time I can tolerate that hectic store is during the holiday hours when really no one else is, is there, like maybe after 9 p.m. And I get like the basic needs, like whatever, you know, pajamas to gift or Carlos always asks me for new underwear every year. So I go there to stock up on everything and they have the ultimate sale. So I might take you on that experience. Let's see. I always get super anxious when I'm going there to begin with, but this is exactly how I kind of trot around town, especially on Fifth Avenue at the most bougie stores to see if there's something I can get that's you know, below a certain amount of money. I try to keep everything under $300 and I just lost control. Lost control. There are a lot of beautiful things. I mean, obviously Fendi bags, things like that are not going to be under $300, but uh, the, the bulk of the items that I'm showing are under $300. So, you know, I'm trying to keep it cute, but that's how I typically shop in the store and how I look at things and what I think about when I'm you know, when I see them or, you know, if they're practical, if they're fun, if they're just beautiful and also the quality of the pieces. Y'all notice how I was really staring down the, the Brandon Blackwood bags. Those website pictures do not do it justice in person. They are heavy. They're thick. The crystals look amazing. Like they are worth the money. And to be honest, the Alexander Wang bags, while they're beautiful, the Kalgaya bags, beautiful as well in person. The Brandon Blackwood bags just were a lot more heftier and heavier compared to the pricing of the other two crystal bags that I saw. I was looking for the Benedetta, but I couldn't find them. Um, I guess they don't have them in store, but yeah. So I just wanted to show you how I get around town when I'm shopping for things for people. And I'm definitely going to go back to Saks to get some of those home um, homeware stuff, especially the Jonathan Adler and um, the Fornicetti. Like, yeah down with all that stuff so i hope you enjoyed it everything's linked below tell me what your thoughts are on this video if you like this style of video tell me if you do or not and um yeah maybe we'll do some more shopping vlogs like this i had fun i hope y'all had fun i'm gonna go back to nordstrom's i'm gonna give them a second try and i'm gonna go to the seventh floor of bergdorf's holiday and if it's not too crazy for my spirit then i'll vlog it but let me know what else you guys want to see for this holiday season. I'll see y'all later. Bye.